Hey, super awesome stampers. I am on the home stretch for preparing for our demonstrator meeting on Saturday. And my last thing to prepare were these cute little four ounce hot cups that are all the rage now. Uh, mine are styrofoam, although I do believe there are paper versions out there. I got them at the restaurant supply store called Kessenex here in Madison, Wisconsin. And I realized when I got home that I should have gotten a style that was a little straighter and I could have done belly bands with paper, but these are angled. So I had to work with what I broke open. So I'd like to share with you how I created all of the three four ounce hot cups. So the first one I did, I wanted to make sure that I um, used some stamps that had a masculine flair, so I used the wetland stamp, um, the duck, and then the birthday greetings. And then on the belly band, I stamped the little, the little tiny ducks in a row for added flair. And then that will just slip off. So in here, I thought you could put something small for um, a special um, someone that would like the rustic burlap, which we sell in our uh, new catalog, the Celebrate the Everyday catalog. It is on page 37, and you get uh, five yards of the burlap rib ribbon for $7.95. And I love that because I'm a, the organic looking girl. So I have a lot of rolls of that around. Um, the next treat cup, I used a couple of different punches and I used the paper from the color collection brights. So I punched a two and a half inch circle in the daffodil delight. And then I used this flower punch, which the name escapes me for the moment, in the melon mambo. And then our small little pansy punch for the tempting turquoise. And then I used our clay and daffodil delight ink to color the clay. Um, used our clay mold and I've got these little flowers and I'll attach those with a hot glue gun which is actually on and heating up right now. And the last one that I wanted to show you how I created is this happy birthday cup. So since I mentioned these cups are slanted, they're not straight up and down where a belly band would work, I had to figure something else out. And that something else out is our stretchy new in color ribbon. Um, so it stretches, has elastic on it. And it kind of looks like a festive banner, birthday banner. So that's what I designed the top round. So the topper was made from a two and a half inch circle punch of Coastal Cabana. And what I did was I stuck a little dimensional in that center. So there would be something for the um, Coastal Cabana punch to stick to. And then I used our new these crazy scissors that we got. Those are also in the Celebrate the Everyday catalog on page 31, the fringe scissors for $9.95. And what I did was I took some Coastal Cabana from, again, the color collection stacks. You can do two sheets at once. And I cut in about that much to get the little fringes that I stuck on right there. So I took um, glue dot on the end, pressed it down, took another glue dot, pressed it down. This is kind of making the banner legs. I stamped the blue ribbon stamp in Mellow Mambo next. And since I made these fun little tails, I didn't have to worry about stamping the tails. Punch this guy out with our two and three eighths inch scallop circle punch. And then with some more glue dots, we're gonna do three to make sure it stays on there. I adhered the happy birthday. And I popped out the happy birthday with the foam dimensional again. And that punches out nicely with our one and quarter inch punch. So, hope you're coming to the quarterly demonstrator meeting, packing heat guns on Saturday. You'll get these 
uh, four ounce hot cups as a shoebox swap. And then I'm also serving the morning nutritious and delicious snack in one of them. Hope to stamp with you soon. This is Shirley Merker at sjsinks.stampinup.net. Bye.